Welcome back to Pong with Purpose. This is Dr. Diana here. I am the CEO and founder of Pong with Purpose. We are a global lactation and postpartum private practice teaching women all across the world to breast pump through personalized care to help you to increase your milk supply with the right pump, flange, products, and schedule and to change the world one pumping family at a time. So this is our next podcast episode edition. It is called all about nipple concerns. This is so important to me. This is a part of the pumping survival guide. So if you visit our website, pumpwithpurpose.com and go down to the bottom to subscribe, you will find the full as of today, 48 entries within our pumping survival guide. And this is one of them to talk about nipple concerns. I'm going to say it again. Nipple concerns are so important. I cannot describe enough. I want your nips to be nipping when you are done with your journey. People are taking it for granted, you know, what your nipples should be like, what they look like before birth, um, before you have a baby. Go ahead and take a picture. Take that picture, snap, snap, to find out what your nips look like before baby. So when you're told to use these, please don't use these large flanges. Like, please get the flange fitting. But if you happen to, you can go back and look to see how your nipples look. Before the baby gets to them, if baby's tearing up the nips or anything like that, you can check it out. But I'm going to give you some concerns when there are nipple concerns to be looking for. If you are experiencing any of the following, and I want you to get a pen, get a piece of paper and a pen so you can write down some nipple concerns for this podcast episode. There will be future ones where we will talk about all kinds of different things about nipple concerns. But let's start with this list today, today, because as time goes on, goes on, I'm noticing different things and I want to be able to give each thing its own um, right to really learn about. So this is just our basic episode about nipple concerns. If you're interested on the fence about working with us, please check us out. Pumpwithpurpose.com. Send me a DM on Instagram. Let me know what pumps you own, what flanges you own. Um, and I am more than happy to recommend a consult. Lynn. You can send me a message on our website. You can um, send me an email. It does not matter. I want to help you, especially if you're having any of these concerns. So let's jump right in. Milk blebs, milk blisters, inflammation or swelling. Anytime your nipples are stretching and swelling, looking like miniature Vienna sausages or looking like miniature hot dogs, you have a problem. Before you pump, your nipples should look one way and after you pump, they should look the close, very close to the same. If you have any change of color, purple, blue, white, sharp shooting pains throughout the breast, nipple sensitivity, any deep redness, pink, um, really understanding what your nipples look like. Um, and if over time they start to look different, start to look worse, they're lightening up in any way, having nipple sensitivity where you get ready to pump and you um, or get in the shower. And you're about to pump and you're holding on to the nips um, and you got to turn around to get in the shower. That's a problem. All of that's a problem. Um, if you're having nipple sensitivity, you don't want anything, anyone to touch them, be near them. That is also a concern. Something is going on. Um, temperature sensitivity going from the warm air of your shower to the cool air of your bathroom. Any type of vasospasms um, or if you have a history in the past of Raynaud's phenomenon, that can also cause nipple concerns. We want you to understand that it's going to be so very important to check on this stuff, to not just say, well, this is what's happened to me. I have to deal with it. You do not have to deal with it. You do not have to be susceptible to having these concerns. You need to listen to your body. If it's telling you something is wrong, if it's hurting, changing color, any type of pain, sharp shooting, anything, it is time to get some help. It is time to reach out. Send us a message. Let us know what pumps you on, what flanges you on. We're probably going to be changing out a lot of stuff. Or you're having milk plebs, milk blisters constantly, clogs constantly, it, I just the list just goes on and on. So this is going to be a short episode because if you if you listen to this and any of this describes you, miniature vena sausages, miniature hot dogs, milk split, milk blebs, milk blisters, pooling at the bottom. So you're getting ready to pump the milk is um, starting to release and it's pooling at the bottom or um, and then it, you got to bend over to get it to drop into the flange or it's pooling at the bottom and coming back on your clothes like this one. You know, you know, you need to get the care that you deserve. So if this is you, go ahead. Start right here. Go to pumpwithpurpose.com. Send us a message. We need to talk. We need to fix these things. Pump, flange, product, schedule. Those are the four main things. Making sure you can effectively and efficiently empty out your breast of available milk that's ready to come out. As well as if any underlying concerns or you've signaled any down regulation just from pumping in pain. You should not be pumping in pain. So let us know if you need us. We are here. Pumpwithpurpose.com. This is Dr. Diana here. Until next time with Pump With Purpose.